And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Aphelios Lee. It's going to be our first deck today. We got four donation decks to get through. We got this one. We got Anivia Control with Gluttony up next. And then we're going to be heading on over to uh, Bilgewater Noxus with Twisted Swain. You know, uh, old Twisted Fate Swain. That deck used to be real popular. We got a newer version, updated version to try out. And then a pretty cool looking Trundle Braum deck with the new card Troll Gifts, which I've actually never played, that will uh, grant plus two, plus two if the unit has regeneration, and both Trundle and Braum have regeneration, so it's just a permanent plus two, plus two trick um, for those two. So that should be kind of cool. But first, um, this is going to be my first time playing Lee Sin and Aphelios together. And so we'll see how that goes. We have two really good, powerful champions. So if we're able to like draw our champions and have a bunch of spells to go along with them, I feel like we're going to be doing really well. We got a couple of Veil Temples to be able to get the extra mana. Um, some spicy things in here. Gifts from Beyond has just been really impressive. Uh, just the Moon Weapons. The Moon Weapons are amazing. And, you know, getting to choose between five Moon Weapons is really strong and so we're just going with all the gifts from beyonds and you know less guiding touch less pale cascade is this this card um just seems really good and um for our deck we're going to be doing the get the two drop the crescendum quite a bit and uh we we only have the three eye of the dragons for our two drop oh we got mountain goat also i forgot about that never mind we got eye of the dragon and mountain goat for our two drops because i was going to say that if we ran out we also had the messenger sig sigil be able to create some messengers and that can get us some more two drops but i guess we do have the goat as well um both zenith blade you know because as you know lee sin with overwhelm is really strong and so we have the zenith blades for overwhelm but we don't have to play all three zenith blades now because of the moon weapons you know the moon weapons we can get um overwhelm as well with the infernum and so we not only have the three aphelios but then also the gifts from beyond they can go grab that so if we if we get into the part of the game where we got lease in we can uh get lease in overwhelm fairly easily all right but let's get to it let's let's try it out let's see how this deck does with aphelios lee brilliant soul leona all right not a good hand send them back all right we can work with this with the Mountain Goat on turn two. That gem can help enable, um, you know, be a cheap spell for Veil Temple, Deep Meditation for cards like that. Ooh, they got nothing to play. We get in a free hit. Oh. Do I just play the Mentor of the Stones first? So, yeah. Gems are superb. Bad for the teeth, though. I think the likely thing is they're playing, like, do they want the... Oh, wow. Oh, crystals. I was going to say, the landmark is the li likely play for them, right? Wow, they or just nothing? Just nothing? Shining gifts from the sky. Forge ahead. I know I, I could have gone and grabbed the moon weapon and stunned that. But I'd rather have Veil Temple. I'm ready in play. It's fine. I'm pretty happy with that, actually, because that's that's a card that's not going to kill my Lee Sin now. Only I can endure the dragon's fury. Because we can just play we can play the gem, and that's our second card. So then that will refill two mana, and then I can play you know like Sonic Waves or Gifts or even Eye the Dragon. Just be. Maybe I just play another gem. No, let's just play the skiffs. That makes more sense. Prepare yourself. I 
think the stun makes the most sense. Alright, looking good. Wow, and they're willing just to pass to me? So I can just, like, go to attacks again? <laughs> Spirits, not my fists. Our enemies would be foolish to underestimate you. Conflict is all in the mind. What are they doing? Just nothing. What was their hand? Just all fight spells and Aurelian souls and Eclipse Dragons? Okay, another really in soul deck. This time with Zoe. Same regions. I can certainly assume that my opponent's going to do a whole lot more than my last opponent. Uh, I don't know if I want to keep by the dragon. I don't think I do. I think I just want Mountain Goat and look for some other cards. Get him go. So maybe my opponent won't do anything more than the last one. Yeah. It's basically thinking, do we play Dust Brand? Like, if they're going to be playing the Grand Plaza... Ooh, that's not the Grand Plaza. I am glad. They forced us to choose death or the blade. <clears throat> I'm glad I uh, just went to attacks. So if I if I play two spells, I get my spell mana back, or I get two mana back. So I think that that makes sense to do that. I think I want the two cost follower at this point, and I will just gem that thing. And yeah, we have a backup Lee Sin, so I don't have to worry too much about this Lee Sin dying. If they'd have something like, you know, like the six mana obliterate that they grab from the mount. Oh no, because the mountain's gotta grab this. So I don't have to worry too much about that. <laughs> we'll just do Crescendum. I was hoping for Eye of the Dragon there to be able to get the extra spell mana and then be able to play Deep Meditation also. Maybe I should use the Sonic Wave. It's, it's easier for me to play that Crescendum at a different time, but I was thinking that maybe I could get that. Lunari, rise. All right, of course, just getting rid of that thing. Get the barrier. <clears throat> we could have had Lee Sin take two and healed the two with the Guiding Touch, but I can also just wait on Guiding Touch and be able to heal something else. It's not like that Dust Petal Dust is important anymore. So just using it to make a barrier and be one out of eight to level up Lee Sin is about as good as that card's going to do. Oh. Okay. I guess I could have seen that coming. 
<laughs> What's up, Nopify? Maybe here a little late. Guess I didn't need that barrier. So I can, while I can play the other Lee Sin right now and then have Nopify, I, if I play the other Lee Sin, I, I guess, let's see. So if I, I play Lee Sin, then I also play Gem. And then, and then I, I guess I could do Gem, then Deep Meditation afterwards. is all in the mind. All right, so we know they do not have the Obliterate card. They had that written in stars. They went and just played. on my lease in. That's not cool. Alright, so I have four mana still. So I can't... I'm one mana short from, you know, Aphelios Moon Weapon. So this is 12, 19. It's currently 19 damage. My lands, prepare yourself. Because, like, basically, if I play Aphelios, they can play another blocker. Alright, I'll just... I'll just do 19. I don't know, we'll see. I kind of wanted to just play this Sonic Wave. You know, just throw it on the Mountain Goat and give the Mountain Goat plus 2 plus 0 to go for lethal. It would force them to have Hush. So maybe I should have just done that. I probably should have just gone for that. Alright. That will still do. So if they did have Hush, that would be just, you know, not a very good use of Hush, right? Like, that would have been acceptable for us if they did have it. Alright, same matchup. I, mean, I could see Concussive Palm being good to have. Let's get rid of that. And I'm not sure about this Concussive Palm. Of course, keeping these two, like this, this is a great start. They forced us to choose death or the plan. All right. This is going to be much more difficult than our first... Like, the, the other two, my my opponents haven't really done anything. Yeah, this one my opponent's going to be doing stuff. This is going to be a lot more difficult. And so I didn't really want to play Eye of the Dragon because I wanted to do all of this in one turn. Bask in her radiant blessing. Um. Yeah, we get we get the deal three card. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. No more hiding. It is time. Back heretic. Okay. Breathe in, breathe out. So the only way way for me to play two spells is with one of these gifts from beyond. I don't really want to play a gift from beyond. 
So if I play a Gifts from Beyond, I get a Moon Weapon, but I don't want a Moon Weapon in hand, because I feel like I'm going to have to hush the Zoe, right? But, oh well, so I guess I guess I just have to play this, so I won't get, like, the free Moon Weapon. I guess I, I could also just save the, the spell mana, but then we won't don't get the Dragling. Alright, that's fine. Alright, so they they can get a new super cool star chart. That's alright. Okay, they're not playing this one, so they're only reducing the cost of that by one, so that's even better for me. What is gained when we return malevolence? Alright, so that'll get us another moon weapon. The stun, but I won't have the mana to play it this turn. Okay, they're down to nine. So we can assume that they're going to go to open attacks. Yeah, they kind of have to do that, because otherwise I'll stun. So I can go the the Sonic Wave and the Resonating Strike. <clears throat> and try buffing up Aphelios. I'd rather do this, though. Helios is still alive, but they're going to have the Zoe that's halfway to leveling up. Caps. We aren't always the best against um, against elusives. Like elusives can be troublesome. Definitely. So I'm not sure. So I'm I'm gonna get the other Lee Sin here, but I could see keeping it because Lee Sin is, you know, just the champion spell is pretty valuable with it being two spells uh, for for pretty cheap. It is a valuable champion spell. Not my fist. A chill in the air. Of course, waiting for this gift from beyond for next turn. Because next turn I can go Eye of the Dragon and then Gifts plus Moon Weapon. But I guess if we do Gifts plus Moon Weapon next turn. You know, if we do that this turn, then I'm getting the Draglings on my opponent's attack turn. And I'd rather have the Draglings on my attack turn because they just won't attack into the Draglings. And so that won't be that valuable. Have a mushroom. Have three. <clears throat> okay, well, we gotta kill that thing. Or at least try. Puffcat Paddler is the card. Uh. 
What is gained when you return malevolence? Hey, Togrek. I thought you'd never ask. Really? You thought we would never ask? Sounds dangerous. I'm in. Nailed it. Yeah, they also have Frostbite for Lee Sin. <clears throat> Our deck needs Sharp Sight. Um, I'm not sure what the best moon weapon would be. Yeah, I guess it's I guess you just go get the goat. I don't really see any of the other ones being great options. I guess we'll just get the goat. But they just block the goat with the Ice Veil Archer. I don't really want the third eye of the dragon in play. I just I just don't have room for these draglings and everything. I just didn't really want to play the third one. Um now we have room. This is what's up. Breathe in, breathe out. I know, imagine Pill like what if Pill Cascade did two damage, you know, it's plus two plus one. That's gotta hurt. Imagine that. Do I wanna do I wanna save this other eye of the dragon? Yeah, I guess so. Find peace in the quiet, Fel. It's just us. The brighter my light, the stronger my shadow. I feel like they're going to be playing a, a follower, you know, whether it's you know, Chump Wump or Puff Cat Peddler or something. I feel like they're going to be playing something like that this turn. And I don't really need a Mountain Goat. Like, I feel like they're going to play another blocker. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. So I can just shoot... I can just shoot the Dragling, and then that's the third moon weapon for leveling up Aphelios, so and then we get the we get the stun moon weapon. So basically, I, I can just spend two mana to make that three out of four. But you know, do I want to spend that two mana, or do I want to save the two mana? Maybe we need to save the two mana. What is gained when you return malevolence? Okay, not really cards I need. If I attack, we're looking at uh, 3, 7, 9, 11 damage, including 4 lifesteal, because I highly doubt they block with Ezreal. But the Lee Sin seems pretty free. I mean, I guess... I guess all they gotta do is Frostbite Lee Sin. Still pretty free. Pleasure to see you, Master. The Dragon Spirit Awakens. I could pre I could preemptively cast Bastion on the Lee Sin 
for a frostbite card. It does it does seem like they want harsh winds, right? But still I'm just gonna let it happen, because still this is going to um, Yeah, like that's their plan, it's harsh winds. This still bounces the Ezreal. So it still bounces the Ezreal. Now they gotta respend all the mana on it. Stun that. Man. They forced us to choose death or the blade. Our plan is just to have us draw a whole bunch of cards, it looks like. So, ended up. I did end up taking the wrong moon weapon. Our path is fixed. As you can see, I'm just getting rid of that moon weapon because I want to level up Aphelios. So I think I am going to hush that thing so we don't take the damage. I am prepared. Center your spirit. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I was basically, I was deciding between one or two Bastions, and I'm, I'm going to do both of them. I'm going to Bastion them both. Because for, for Frostbite stuff, like that, they'd have to have, because I was thinking like if, if their way to remove Bastion would be something like, um, yeah, so this just, so we're not going to kill them yet. If their way to remove Bastion was something like Mystic Shot or, you know, like a spell like that. That's a fast spell. You can't, like, fast spell place. and then Frostbite to get rid of Bastion. Conflict is all in the mind. All right, Deny's going to be pretty good, probably. Two, three, four. Also, we'll find our second Hush. Noble is gonna be pretty good, probably. What is gained when he deters malevolence? Watch and learn. Okay. Can't stop me. Hopefully, can't do 15 damage before my combat the next turn. It's definitely possible, though, that they can do 15 damage. Three, six, seven, eight cards in hand. So if I if I don't want to burn a card, I got it. I gotta get rid of another card. 
I could just play like this mountain goat over the Veil Temple. The Veil Temple's probably done its job. Or I can just I can just throw away the dust petal dust. Also. Yeah, let's just get rid of this dust, actually. Okay, so that le leaves me a seven, so I'll be able to draw all of them. So basically, like if the last card's like Hush or something like that that we need, we'll be able to draw it. All right, so I won't have to. I don't have deny up right now, but this is actually. This messenger signal sigil is actually pretty good because that just puts five five cards back into the deck that aren't that aren't cards that have puff caps. Okay, so we'll have one deny. <clears throat> we hope to. Hopefully, we draw a bunch of doggos and no puff caps. Doggo. Besides that, we want hush. Okay, so we drew one puff cap. So now. <clears throat> there's only six puff caps in our deck. I could go look for hush with this deep meditation. So I, I only have a deny. Doesn't look great. Yeah, it's a good chance that they just burst speed kill me. Which which does mean that I you know I could have looked for the other hush. I could deep meditation and try to draw the other hush and then hush the Ezreal again so they won't be able to burst speed kill me, but Wow. They did not, you know, they did not have the hand, so must must have been a good amount of units in hand, you know, like puff cap peddlers and chump lumps and all that kind of stuff. They just didn't didn't have enough to do six six damage to me. You know, six damage is not easy. Ionia endures. So. <laughs> What's up, Joe Nike? It's the Lunar New Year today. That's awesome. Alright, happy new Lunar New Year. We have Aurelian Souls again with Zoe, but they're playing P and Z. So P and Z should have three damage spells to kill Aphelios. But that doesn't mean I mulligan Aphelios. Well, that's unfortunate. Next turn. Okay. So playing Dustbringer, Dustbringer would be my best play as far as playing Aphelios next turn. By playing this Mountain Goat means that we are going to be playing I, I the Dragon and Dustbringer next turn. And then Aphelios the following turn. Which I guess does mean <clears throat> that I'm not playing Lee Sin on turn 5. Maybe I should be playing Lee Sin on turn 5. So yeah, maybe I just don't. Danger Noodle. 
Maybe we just play it on Lee Sin on five and we just don't play the Sephelios. Oh, this is turn four. This isn't turn five. What am I doing? It's turn four. Well, I should have, I should have last turn used the gem there and then gotten, I could have got a draggling, but that's okay. We don't need the draggling. So, if I go, let's see, gem, Aphelios, gem, blah, 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 okay. I'm just gonna do this. Spell. Don't really need a draggling next turn, we'll just pass. Okay. We're not getting a free super cool star chart, that's fine with me. I'm worried about like larger thing oh wait, wait no, this isn't I was thinking larger thing plus single combat, but they're not they're not a single combat deck. So I think I can just play this Lee Sin. It's basically how much do I want do I want more moon weapons? Which I guess moon weapons are pretty cool. Alright, we'll wait on you, Lee Sen, sorry. Sorry, Felis, you did good. You did good. I really wanted Eye of the Dragon there. I really wanted one more mana. That's what I was hoping to get for sure. Because <laughs> one more mana would allow me to have you know gem and then keep Nopify for something. I don't know what we would Nopify, but something. If they have like the three mana double stun invoke card. The Mountain Goats have been very good for us, but that is kind of a, a problem of how we normally want Eye of the Dragon with the, the two mana thing. And we don't always get it. Because you don't always get what you want. Alright, looks like we're going to have to Sonic Wave try to take this thing down. Um. I guess going with the 4-1 is more likely to kill it because of Pale Cascade. Hopefully this happens, hopefully no Mystic Shot. Man, that goat is dancing. They got a dancing goat over there. My goat's just trying to ram the Zoe. There's his dancing. Okay, that's awesome. So that, yeah, because that Zoe was at 8 out of 10. So that worked out well. Our Lee Sin's at 6 now.
Doesn't really matter which one of those two we choose, I guess. <clears throat> I want to get this Mountain Scryer out of here. Not let their invoke cards cost less. That's not cool. As the dragon wins. And we will just end round there. What is gained when we return malevolence? The Veil Temple. You're pretty cool. I kind of want to play you before combat. Yeah. Might as well. Might as well. If I challenge the... I, I'd rather kill the Scryer, but if we challenge the Scryer, they can have the goat block my Eye of the Dragon. And I am perfectly fine with that. I don't really need that Eye of the Dragon anymore. Let's go with... Basically, I was trying to think of, like, what, what did I want to do with this thing. I guess I'm going to put it on this. And they can block. They can block these two. That's fine. I'm not gonna lose any any sleep over those two. Are you doing? Really? Like we're killing that thing and not not the Veil Temple? Like that thing kills landmarks. What are they, what are you doing? I just don't even understand. Enemies would be foolish to underestimate me. Breathe in, breathe out. I just don't even know. One star's whoopsie is another spark. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. Our I should have played this dust first. That would just got me that mana back, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Infinite mana. Speaking of infinite, that mind splitter is not good. <laughs> really. Oh, I just only have an 8-8 an eight eight that keeps you from winning the game. Oh, I'm going to have to have a cry face. Yeah, that... Can I paint that... You? Way to remove, you know, the unit that removes Lee Sin. That that's like the only thing I can't protect, right? Like if if it's a spell that removes Lee Sin, we had Nopify deny. If it was a challenger, we could just play two things and give Lee Sin barrier. This is the one thing I couldn't protect. Was infinite mind splitter. We're not playing any real removal. Yeah, we don't have we don't have any way to get rid of it besides um you know I, I can if we draw hush, I can hush the lease in so it's not stunned. I created it. None of these cards do anything, but this at least takes a, a two drop out of my deck. 
which, you know, of course would be a really poor draw, right? Like, we don't want to draw a Mountain Goat. Yeah, Mind Splitter is just perfect. Yeah, I don't have any Invoke. GG's. In the end, the dragon claims us all. Um, but, you know, like, we're not going to win all of them. <clears throat> we saw that, you know, we, we did lose to Zoe Aurelian Soul that time. We saw that overall we were pretty good against the Zoe Aurelian Soul decks because that's what we got paired up with four times. That version, though, like the other three times were uh, the Demacia version. That one was the PNZ, and the PNZ was pretty good with having the um, Aftershock. The Aftershock was clutch for killing my Aphelios the one time. But yeah, we ran out of cards. <clears throat> we didn't have anything like Deep Meditation that game to you know help us draw extra cards and things like that. It just kind of ran out. All right, but it looked pretty good. Basically, that, that Lee Sin card, <clears throat> Lee Sin is, is really good. We did see some holes in the deck. Obviously, that Infinite Mind Splitter was a hole in the deck. But also, um, besides Infinite Mind Splitter, uh, Elusives. Elusives were kind of a, a troublesome point. I think what I would want to do with this... <clears throat> so we have Eye the Dragon and Mountain Goat already. I think the Messenger Sigil is not necessary. I think I'd want to get rid of this Messenger Sigil. I don't think we need that card. And then... Um, <clears throat> also Concussive Palm. I guess, like, we didn't play against any kind of, like, Freljord Overwhelm kind of decks, and that's, like, where Concussive Palm can come in to play. But we do have Hush. Pell Cascade didn't look that great. It was... Pell Cascade, Guiding Touch were both pretty average, but they were, they were okay. But the thing that I want, and what I'm, what I'm thinking about here... Maybe we trim a Deep Meditation or a Concussive Palm to get some more in. But the other card that I think that I want in here, just a couple of copies, is... Well, let's see. So I was thinking that... Hmm. So the card I was thinking about was Star Shaping. Give us some good Nexus healing, and of course the, the Celestial cards are incredible, right? Like So I was thinking, like, and you know, it's a Burst Spell. You know, Burst Spells are always good to have with, with all this stuff. Like, it's, it's, a, it's incredible. So I was thinking about maybe, like, a Star Shaping or two. The thing about Star Shaping, though, is with the Celestial cards, like these that cost seven or more, your if you think about the spells, the eight mana spell and the seven mana spell also, right? So yeah, the seven mana, the eight mana, the nine mana, all of those spells, you need to, all three of those, um, you need to behold another Celestial card to be able to cast them. So I guess with Star Shaping, we were, wouldn't really be able to cast those other spells. We... we before we we were starting, before we were playing, we were talking about you know maybe Mentor the Stones or Solari Priestess, which which one would fit in here better. Um, the Mentor the Stones was, you know, fairly good for us. Like it was like the first game, it really you know it helped kill my opponent very quickly with the support plus two plus two. Um, it was good for us, but was it better than what a Solari Priestess would be? I don't know. So maybe maybe a Solari Priestess there instead of Mentor. Um, yeah, the Fangs is another option. You get you get cheaper Celestials. I kind of wanted to get like some Celestials that could... A couple Celestials that could be removal. Maybe it's Priestess. Maybe just play one Mentor of the Stones and two Priestess. We definitely don't need that Sigil. I think that... I think we need to find... Um, I mean, the Invoke cards can just do everything, right? So I, I think that having... A, maybe having a couple Invoke cards would be good. So that's an option. Um... Yeah, so I think I think that's where you can kind of uh, with this deck. I think these slots. I basically I like these thirty-seven. Okay, I liked I liked these thirty-seven that we had, um, but I, I could see getting rid of concussive palm also if you want to get rid of that. But I, I liked the rest. So then besides that, it, Mentor the Stones was good, but you you have a lot of great cards in these regions that you can play between Mentor the Stones, Priestess. Um, I wouldn't even necessarily mind. I think they want something for invoke cards just because they're they're too good. Uh, we talked about star shaping, um, the fangs. Where's the fangs? The fangs. That's an option in here. I wouldn't even necessarily mind Fey Guide. How we were kind of struggling against elusives. What if you just like give something elusive? You know, give like your mountain goat or whatever elusive. I don't know. Fey Guide's always underrated. 
But those are the, the last couple of slots to think about. But still, um, overall, obviously our deck looked really, really strong. Lee Sin was incredible. Really, the only thing, the only card that took us down was that Infinite Mind Splitter, right? Like if if my opponent didn't have Infinite Mind Splitter that last game, like there was there was nothing else they could have done, right? Like Challenger, we, we would have had Challenger taken care of because of Barrier. We would have had um, spells taken care of with Deny and Nopify. We had, uh, you know, like, so like there's nothing else that they could have done to stop that Mind Splitter except for exactly Infinite Mind Splitter. And that was just kind of perfect. All right, but that's it for here for Aphelios Lee. This deck looked really good. Aphelios was awesome. Lee Sin was awesome. Yeah, looked like a really, really strong deck. We need to get to our other decks, though. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Um, leave those comments. Let me know if you got any ideas for these last couple of slots here. Or if you've been playing Aphelios Lee, if there's anything, any of like the invoke cards that you like more than others, like, um, you know, have you had a lot of success with Priestess or with the Fangs or, um, you know, just, just any of these? Um, I mean, it's not out of the question to play uh, the other, the two mana. I mean, I've, I always love Spell Thief, by the way. You know, Spell Thief, you can get your opponents removed. Like, we don't really have good removal, like, too great of removal. Like, Spell Thief, you can get their, their removal spells that help you out. That's always an option. Um, but it's not even out of the question to play a card like Super Cool Star Chart in here. Um, you know, again, like, if we want we want spells and want to be able to, like, double cast spells, like, Super Cool Star Chart can really help with that, where you can grab that and then Equinox or, or whatever. So there's, there's def definitely nothing wrong with Super Cool Star Chart either. I think I like Super Cool Star Chart more than Behold the Infinite, if you want to play one of those two. I think I'd go with the Star Chart. But yeah, because that, that could give you option to, like, Equinox, then you can Equinox an, an Infinite Mind Splitter. That'd be nice. So maybe maybe that's the play. Maybe you just keep this the exact same, except for just take out that Messenger Sigil. They didn't really do very much, and just play a super cool star chart. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I kind of like that. And then that's we're only just changing that one card. We're not really a Spacey Sketcher deck, but that is that is an option. But you could do Spacey Sketcher. I think I'd rather have the super cool star chart than Spacey Sketcher. Just because of how, how important spells are with all these different cards in our deck. We want spells. So I'd rather have the star chart. And the 1-1 the one, one body can just, like, get in the way when we're, we're trying to, like, make draggalings and go wide the draggalings, and that 1-1 one, one body can just get in the way. All right, but there we go. So that's Aphelios Lee. That's that's what I'd recommend. Let's take out take out the Messenger Sigil, play a, a star chart. There we go. All right, but, yep, but then there we go. Um, again, those are all y'all on YouTube. Leave those comments, that kind of stuff. But, and again, thank you so much for watching. I can never say that enough. I really appreciate it, and I will see you for the next video.